Hi there, I'm Dr. Jim. Thanks for stopping by. I have a topic today that I'd like to share with you. It's, it's one that I've talked about a lot uh, my whole career because I'm a person who believes in energy, positive energy, surrounding yourself with positive people. I believe in mindfulness. I'm an advocate for the law of attraction. You know, what you put out is what you get back. So recently I was thinking about a concept that, or a term that I've heard and I think you have heard too, energy vampires. So I wrote an article, beware of the energy vampires. So who are these people? Do you have them in your life? Uh, do you have them at work? Do you have an energy vampire friend <laughs> or family members? It's pretty interesting. So over my 30 year career, I've encountered people with all kinds of personalities. And I've been able, after a lot of uh, experience, to pick out the positive and the negative. And, you know, I put my arms out and I make a circle around myself and this is the no negativity zone. Because negative people just are, are draining. They really are draining because you're always trying to, mm, 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 you know, lift them up and, you know, motivate them and encourage them. And so I've also, uh, throughout my 30 year career plus, have come across people who I could actually label as energy vampires. And I'm sure you can too. So what does a vampire do? Classic vampire. They bite your neck, they suck your blood because they need it to live. It gives them energy, it gives them life. All right. The analogy is then I guess that energy vampires drain you of your <laughs> energy, your life's essence. They drain you of your happiness <laughs> and they feed on it. Um, and the more they drag you down and take your energy away, the stronger and more powerful they become. So what can we do with these energy vampires? Well, these are people who live their lives uh, surrounded by chaos, and by drama, I guess you could call them drama vampires if you wanted to. They tend to make small problems larger. They create problems for themselves. And then they try to drag you into it. They also tend to lack self-accountability for their own problems. You know, the buck does not stop with them, so to speak. Energy vampires play the victim card. They are their own worst enemy as well. Uh, they're martyrs. They make pretty good martyrs. Some are very hyper competitive though, and they're very critical. They thrive on intimidation, keeping other people on guard, making you feel defensive every time they come around. It's like, you know, you're, you start tingling. Uh-oh, my spidey senses and whatnot. Um, and over time, you know, if you encounter them and you experience them enough, they're draining. They can be very, very tiring people. Um, sometimes energy vampires will lie and manipulate. Sometimes they can be bullies, workplace bullies. And it's not that they're not talented, creative, intelligent. A lot of them actually are. But they're, they're missing something in their lives. There's some emptiness. Think about it. A vampire has to drink blood because they're empty. And they have to fill up. Energy vampires are empty too. You just have to find out what they're lacking and try to help them to fulfill what they're lacking in other ways other than draining you of energy. I'm Dr. Jim. Keep coming back for more nonsense. I'll see you soon.